This is your weekend market review for Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max of ESP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your weekend market review, Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. We'll have a great weekend for Martin Luther King weekend. We're doing something fun. Stay warm. Oh my God, it's cold out there. Yeah, let's talk about next week. So going into the start of earnings, it seems to be chopping. A little surprised we didn't sell off a little more Thursday, Friday, but also not surprised it's OPEX next week. But keep in mind the seasonality. If you have not joined the Discord room, link in the description below. Keep in mind, mid-February, mid-January, typically profit-taking into these OPEXs. We'll see what happens. Again, if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room. Link in the description below. Let's jump into it because, again, there's a lot of evidence of things that are getting potentially worse as we talk about. But, again, you just don't know when the market's going to turn. It's hard. It's hard. Chop, chop, slop, chop, squeezes, all sorts of fun stuff. Check out the YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out some of the videos. Again, there's 52 Back to Basics videos. If you can't figure it out, don't be shy to reach out. Use the Calendly link as needed to reach out. Uh, it's not on here right now, but whatever. Marcus, get your 5.5. Check out the trading agent. Again, if you're back to basics, education series is for more beginner to advanced. Lots of articles. Get your interactive brokers. Again, I'm just surprised nobody's hit me up about this because I am pretty sure Schwab has earnings on Tuesday. It's going to be interesting. Follow on the Twitter I don't know if you guys saw this, but again, I mean, I've been watching the M2 money supply and it's just, it's just getting fugly fast. And I'm, I'm impressed that we're holding up because again, I feel like, I don't know who's doing what, but somebody's pumping liquidity into the market, but M2 is coming out. It's almost like the biggest gift to the uh, in hedge funds, institutions, and big money I've ever seen. Like, let them out just in time. So we know going into next week, we've got earnings, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley on Tuesday. Bunch of data on Wednesday, Schwab Wednesday, <clears throat> Taiwan Semi, I think it's Thursday. A lot of data this week and in OPEX and the start of earnings. Again, you have a lot of the banks starting in the first week, so be careful out there. If you like the XLF short, which we absolutely do, just pick your names wisely. Fed, there's not going to be a rate cut coming up until maybe March. It's getting, you know, again, it's, it's picking up little by little every week. Again, if it's picking up means the market, to me, in my opinion, is getting going to be significantly weaker. Because, again, they only pivot quickly and adjust when things go badly. All right, Bitcoin. Everyone says it's not technical. And I just sit here and laugh. <clears throat> here you go. Fake breakout. Big volume comes back holding trend. Another secondary trend line. People tell me, oh, it's not technical. I'm like, okay, well, be careful. Because high volume at the highs has led to what? Pullbacks. I would even call this necessarily high volume at the highs. It's coming off the lows. This is the first big volume because this was a breakout, right? Now you've got big volume at the highs. I would be careful if you own Bitcoin. Oil, as we've talked about, chopping around. It has a huge short interest, but also you've got, you got the Saudis cutting prices. Natural gas, oh, invalid symbol. Get out of here. That's not an invalid symbol. And that's natty gas. We love this trade. We talked about... Had due to bounce. I just don't know if we're going to break through. Me personally, I don't really think we are. Again, commodities are the best when the Fed's pivot. You're not that far off. Right? So just keep that and keep that in the back of your mind. All right. We know commodities, again, I love when the Fed's pivot. And we got OPEX. We got all sorts of fun things tomorrow. Dollar, as we talked about, it's chopping. Remember, you did this big gap due to X div. If you put it in there, basically be chopping between the 20, sorry, the 100 and the 200 day. Dollar volatility, keep an eye on it. Bonds, we talked about this 9900 area was going to be a beast backing off below the 200 day. Again, if rates go up, man, markets, this market ain't going to like it. VIX feels like it's compressing before a huge move, in my opinion. We'll see what happens. Again, even if it's not even huge, it's I think the risk reward is to be short. VIX. Sorry, Vixen looks good. Look at the Vivix on Thursday. Look at this. We talked about yesterday's or Friday's or Thursday's action. Like, 
Wow, it's a gift down here. Look at that. Somebody coming with the big green banana, I guess. Big green banana. We'll see. Spy holding up. Got to give it credit, but it is looking choppy toppy. This is what gets tough. Is like you see the distribution in the red. That day, I mean, I could consider that, I don't know, not really accumulation. Then you get back up to the high, and then came the volume. I, it, same thing with the Q. I mean, I don't anticipate these to hold up. I just don't. I thought we'd break the 20-day and chill out around the 20-day, but look at that. We filled the gap, and we're stuck here. IWM hasn't confirmed these new highs. Like, that's where you got to be careful if you're a bull. IWM, it's like, oh, but it ha Dan, you're, you're, you know, what day is this going to happen? I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you what day. Be careful. Dia chopping around. I think it broke. No, it's holding the 20 day. Be careful. Gold. A lot of people are like, oh, you'd see. Look at gold. But I'm like, dude, every eh, talk to me when it breaks out. Because if it breaks out, that's the trade. Until then, again, the Fed pivot, it, you, the, throw the baby out with the bathwater. I had so many people going, look, Dan, look, 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 it's up today. And I mean, we blow, we fought, I mean, again, I think Britain fired on Yemen. Yemen, the Houthis, Houthis, I don't know. Apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation, but silver, pop, flop, GDX. Oh my God, Dan, I made a dollar on it. Okay. I mean, it just looks like a big choppy, sloppy mess. I'm amazed that like bulls just like every little move. They're like, woo, yeah, uh-huh, big day. It's like, man, the big move is not, again, when the gold breaks out, silver confirms, that's the big move. AG, I mean, these are all just chopping around. I mean, you could technically argue they were near term oversold. Look what the bounces got. Sold. Same thing with Newmont today. I mean, barely, barely. Pass looks interesting, though. I think at some point, I don't know how much lower this thing can go. Not much. Taiwan Semi again has earnings coming up. I think this is the short of the century. Not short of the century, but of the year. I mean, it's Taiwan is going to have problems. Let's just talk about China at some point. When they do decide to go, maybe after the Chinese New Year? I don't know. Micron, we talked about the gap up being an absolute joke considering earnings revenue is just falling off. It's just flat. Just <laughs> no growth. So notice it's pulling back. AMD, the competition for NVIDIA, some of these other chips, double topping. NVIDIA, Paluzzi. Palu Again, if they don't investigate Paluzzi, I'm just, I'm just amazed. Coming into the channel high. I mean, this is the thing. Hopefully you did not step in front of this. You know, people said it might go up. And again, I'll give credit to the people in the Discord room. Again, I don't know any, everything for sure. Would it make sense if they had some chip thing or something going on? I don't know. Intel, again, it's just, it seems like it's an NVIDIA party and everyone just didn't get invited. SMH, <laughs> right? Obviously popped with some NVIDIA, but it's not breaking out. You're getting a lot of divergences. Adobe, here's another one I got in upgrades, some upgrades. It's over the 20 day, but man, is it going to stay? Apple, we talked about, went from double top, drop quick, oversold, 200 day. Said somewhere in this, I don't know, this area probably gonna get tired and so far so good, it's tired. Amazon, impressed that it broke back out, but man, it's, man, it's it's, it's just like the rubber band, man, it's so tired. So tired, chop, ugh, we'll try to go higher, ugh, try to go higher. We'll see. I mean, I'm not, I think there's better shorts than maybe Amazon. CRM, interesting, like, I like that wick up there. Guggenheim, all over the place. Fake break, like fake breakout, back off. Making new highs again. I would be careful. Shorty name is making new highs again. Meta, same kind of thing. But this is where I, I honestly think Meta makes sense to short because Zuck is unloading, and I have seen multiple upgrade. Like literally every day at the highs, brokerages are updating at the highs, and then you see the close. And every day, the ten minute at the close is just somebody, somebody's like, get me the fudge out. And then it's like, man, you had decent volume. I think at the close yesterday, yeah, you had 20, sorry, 2.2 .2 million sold at the close yesterday. Probably suck. Microsoft trying to break out. Got to give it credit. Here comes the next FIB extension. Hold on. Just notice something. Just notice something. Pause. Okay. Interesting action up, up her. Keep an eye on that. I mean, again, I'm not saying short it right now, but you're going into earnings. Know your spots, folks. Know your spots. Uh, and DAQ, we talked about this exchange is an easy short on the pop so far. It's looking pretty good. I mean, if it head and shoulders, it's 57 plus. You know what to do. MicroStrategy. We've said this is probably leading Bitcoin. Something doesn't seem right. Michael Saylor sold on a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but he did a secondary at the highest. Smart guy. Is Bitcoin going to follow? It makes sense to me. Because again, he's probably sold shares at the high and will buy Bitcoin at 
20, 30, 40% discount. Uh, look at Netflix. Look at this. Something. I mean, again, pops. Roblox failed at the 47 level. Just, man, making a new low. Tesla, this thing has been an absolute trash. I mean, I saw where Hertz is trying to dump their Teslas, and they can't even get anything for them. Yikes. Somebody knows something. Airbnb, we talked about this being a great short. Told us it would bounce somewhere down in here. Look at the 20 days. So far, so good. Costco, China. I mean, again, the pet... This, maybe this is one that isn't the short. I thought it was China release. They're talking about how awesome it is. Okay, we'll see what happens. Starbucks, a global growth name. This thing's in an absolute dog shiznit. And again, it's like this thing should be up, up and away. FedEx, another one that you need to watch the hunt 200 day if that breaks. Yadi, yadi, be careful. Adios. Uh, Caterpillar really wanted to see the upper trend bound going into earnings. Probably going to lay off that. New core, we talked about the 170s failure. Letter X, again, I don't think we'll get bought out. We've talked about this. I don't think they're going to get bought out by Nippon Steel, but I think there are other bidders. So just be careful if you're trying to short. Valet, we talked about these commodity names. Every time they bounce, they flop. And if you zoom out, again, I, I don't want to get into like any specifics on these. I just think let these things get pounded. They're in big choppy zones. Arrow, we like copper long-term, obviously. Held our long-term trend line. Now backing up to some resistance. CCJ, give it credit. Somebody was saying, oh, you idiot. And I was like, what do you mean, you idiot? I'm like, what, what, what are you talking about? And then today's action, and it's like, that gap, either it's the start of a runaway move, or that is the top. And again, I'm not here to short CCJ. Again, I talk, I'm just be careful. Raise your stops, y'all. Raise your stops. That's all I would recommend. Be careful. Because again, I'm not saying go out and short it, but sell cover calls, hedge some positions, take some profits, because that feels very blow-offish, near term. CF. Same thing. I mean, ag names, just not, I mean, materials don't, and again, we know nuclear is the future potentially. I mean, we got to get more electric going, but near term, I don't know. Keep an eye on I mean, look, again, no one's saying go out and short. And again, I've been wrong on CCJ, but I mean, you're going to be wrong on some. I'm not, just as long as I don't lose money on it. AA, that's the key. Chopping, I mean, nice balance. If you zoom out, they all look so similar. Here we go, financials. I think this is the freaking short of the century. Near term too. You got major chop top. Watch the 20 day. Look at JP Morgan, y'all. 52 week highs, breaks out. Look at that candle. Oh my gosh. Let's move over. Take this and put it right here. That is just ugly. Now, again, if it chops around a little, don't be surprised. Morgan Stanley earnings on Tuesday. Ooh. And again, these names could bounce back, so be careful. But they all look ripe. Ripe short carry same thing we talked about junior banks just leading you, you hit the no doubt fail zone and now you're under the 20 day i mean again i'd watch these back up before you take a short i don't know if i'd chase i wouldn't chase them xbi we talked about big chop zone watch the 90s solar i mean a lot of people got mad when i said solar's just every major bounce is a short sedge i mean this thing is a dog fleas Said let it bounce. Here it comes back. Already gives that 25%. ENPH. I really wanted to see the 200 day. Didn't get it. It's all right. First solar. Like this one. Again, be careful. Just don't chase. These things can be pretty wide and loose, just in general. HYG. I'm, I'm amazed people were buying corporate debt. I mean, you got to be high out of your mind going into a credit issue. Corporate debt is not safe. Unless the feds are going to buy it all, I guess. I don't know. Oil, we like the trade, chopping around, meaning like, no, I don't think there's big upside, make downside. So like the trade meaning like wait for it to play out. UNG, again, I don't like UNG as an ETF. There is volume down here, but I don't. Ugh. Easy trade we said was cold, KOLD shorting this. If you didn't get out down here, I mean, again, I think near term, some bounce, I would expect it. That's the short, because again, natural gas comes down, you know what to do. Exxon Mobil stuck in this 100 range. Oxy, we've talked about Buffett's favorite covered strategy. Just let it play. He's playing it in the Buffett zone. Downside target. I mean, it's just going nowhere. CBE, I know people are looking at that. I just, again, it's tough to trust. I mean, there's February calls being bought at the 17 strike price. It's just hard, 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 hard. Valero, these uh, gas names are all over the place. Sloppy, choppy. Again, I mean, I like long term. You just let them play out. 
I mean, if you got extremes, trade them. If you don't, be careful. EQT, as I've said, leave these names alone. Last but not least, Flex LNG of Lake this long time. I think we're going to be natural gas exporters. Okay, if you have any questions, hit me up in Calendly. Again, if you're looking at real estate, we're digging in, finding deals. Always, if you have need help, need to find an agent, please reach out. If you need to find an agent, leave me a comment. I will gladly go out of my way to vet and find one. Don't go on Zillow. Don't go to talk to Uncle Bob or Uncle Terry or Aunt Phyllis. Again, find a pro. Find. Let me help you find a pro because maybe you need to find an off-market deal. Maybe you need to find somebody who's into doing creative finance. Maybe you want to find your first investment property. You want an agent who's going to walk you through the process or have to pay out tons of money for education. Let me know how I can help. Always here. Talk to you guys and gals later. Have an amazing weekend. Martin Luther King Day. Talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.